Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Only 20 septums each. <laughs> Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients. I have them all. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kine. In a way, I guess. What about you? I've been adventuring across Tamriel since I was a Kira, uh, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. Never see me all these I see, but that definitely wasn't my childhood. Let's say I was quite the bookworm. Never really went outside. Until now, at least. Anyway, nice Very meeting well, you. Talon. I'll Safe travels. From this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Barkeep, I'd like a wench. You expect me to believe that? <coughs> uh, ahem. I I'd like a drink. Of course. Thanks. Don't speak of this, to anyone. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Oh? What is it? Keep that weapon sharp, and that wit sharper. It's a dangerous world out there. I'm glad you're here. You want to have a drink? Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? Let's have it standing. All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Alto wine. Nice, but fancy now, aren't we? I don't think you have some of that wine on you, though. Here, I'll help you out. Cheers. Likewise. Any thoughts on what's been going on lately? This isn't necessarily a past journey, but... I was thinking about this regardless. The Civil War. Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer Nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well. Asterisk, sip your drink, Asterisk. So, has anything been on your mind lately? Hmm... Gravity. It truly is a peculiar thing. This law of the Earth Bones, or so I've read, dictates how land and people are held in place, and how what comes up must come down. It's generally a simple fact of our reality, but it is nonetheless perplexing to think about. But let's just put that aside for now. There's this other thing that I've been thinking about. Symbolic gravity. I think it is that, in which a sense, weighs us down. It prevents us from truly ascending to our true potential. When mortals, vampires, or any sentient being in Nurn tries to scramble and fight for dominance, power, influence. It really is just... vanity, in the end. <clears throat> Don't you think? If only we understood one another, and not be consumed by these petty squabbles. 
we could truly ascend into something else. Maybe even Chim. Who knows? Asterisk, sip your drink, Asterisk. So, what do you want to talk about now? Do you believe people can change to be intrinsically better and more understanding? I do believe that we can. I've read a similar concept before. It was in the new type theory proposed by a Dwemer philosopher long ago. He said that if men and myrrh alike cast aside the shackles of what has binded them to selfish squabbles and struggles to power, they could mentally evolve, in a sense, to be higher beings, new types. People who can more easily detect the thoughts and intentions of others and are more amissible to understanding. I would like to remember the name of the book, or the author, but I'm afraid it's been lost to time. Thanks, Serana. That was a good talk. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. Hey. You want a drink? Maybe. I don't see your kind too often here. How have things been for you? <clears throat> the only thing colder than Skyrim is the Nords themselves. Well, that's classic Tamrielic bigotry for you. As long as you don't anger any drunken Nords, you should be fine. Them or the Thieves Guild. I'm sure you know them all too well. I do. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, milady. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. <clears throat> yes, actually. What are these special drinks? Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of I blackberry, honey, spiced reason. wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly mm. safe, I assure you. Okay. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last, and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodylic brandy, flynn, and sujama. Interesting. Well, I'll stick with regular mead for now, but I'll let you know if I ever would like to try these ones. Hey, I know I'm, uh... Very tolerant drinker, but it might not hurt to try one of these someday. Yeah, what's your problem? Another day in Skyrim. I'm still trying to decide which is more unpredictable, the weather or the inhabitants. Just you and me against the world now. Not that I'm complaining. Here, I hope you like it. The dust Beautiful like a giant. All oh, me, guaranteed, clean and free yes. from rock and yours. Yours. <laughs> to tell about it. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I have them all. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. Buying and selling Genuine fine jewelry here. Percent. Live for thousands of years, see into other people's thoughts. Protect yourself right, buy armor from Grelka. Oh. Jewelry, legendary Argonian craftsmanship.
Have our scouts come up with any information on these reports of dragons? Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. <coughs> Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. What's your stance on the war? While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. What of Ulfric himself? With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. What is the White Gold Concordat? Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. What do you do around here? As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. I'm proof of their ignorance. What are the rumors of corruption you mentioned? There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city. That it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim. The Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Tell me about the Thieves' Guild. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. What's the plan? Just you and me against the world now. Not that I'm complaining. No, oh, come to gloat, have we? To poke fun at the Jarl's youngest son? Jewelry with 
legendary Argonian craftsman. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Buying and selling fine jewelry here, gems, potions, exotic Buy some armor and live to tell about it. All. The fairest prices and the highest quality in Skyrim. Beautiful barbels. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor from Relka. Trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. Once was a hero named Ragnar, the red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead.
I got nothing on me. If you're looking for skooma, head on downstairs. So, where are we off to now? Sounds good. Keep your eyes open here. Even bandits can be organized and quite deadly. Hold on. Did you hear something? There they are. <laughs> that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. That's it? That's all you've got? <laughs> something. Hope you're you ready to puny lose. weakling. Uh. Now that's good team play.
Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. So, what's on your mind? Very well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 